would happen if the Mayor of London did succeed in introducing rent controls? What you'd actually end up with is the unintended consequence of landlords fleeing the sector. And guess what, Will? A massive further shortage of stock, which would mean more and more Londoners without a home and certainly higher rents. Hello, I'm Russell Quirk and welcome to Money Talk, the show that talks about the things that matter to you on a day-to-day basis. Today, I want to talk about housing and in particular, some accolades, some successes that have been trumpeted by London's mayor with regard to, well, his so-called successes on the delivery of affordable housing for Londoners. He promised 66,000 homes on an annual basis and he said that half of those would be affordable. This week, he has said a lot about his his performance and the fact that he thinks he's broken records and it's all pretty fantastic. We should be very proud of him. And guess what? I guess we should elect him for a third term, should we? Well, let's see what he says about that success. In London, we had a government target of starting 116,000 new, genuinely affordable homes. And today, I'm so proud to announce that not only have we hit our target We've exceeded it. Here to talk to me and to you about the numbers uh, is my good friend, Will Derbyshire, who is a property writer. Will, welcome. Hi, Russell. Let's get into this, shall we? So Sadiq Khan has said a lot over the last few days, really, the last couple of weeks with regard to uh, his success, this accolade in terms of him having delivered, apparently, more council houses than ever before, Uh, except in my contention, it's simply not true. So there are two or three things I'd like us to look at. The first is the fact that he set out what his target was going to be for himself. So when he first got elected in 2016, Mm. he set out those numbers, 66,000 new homes per annum, half of them being affordable. The reality in terms of delivery is somewhat different. So based on the numbers, and I'll get you to tell us where the numbers come from, but based on the numbers, how many homes has Sadiq Khan actually overseen the delivery of since he took office in 2016? Yes, so calculating his target, he was looking to deliver 26,145 affordable homes uh, each year. Yep. from 2016 uh, onwards. And how many has he actually delivered? Uh, for all, from the look of it, he has actually delivered 62,338 homes. In six and a bit years. So 9,200 a year. That's Pretty not, much, That's yeah. not 26,145, is it? So Nowhere near. How, you might be asking, you might be thinking, there's 9,000 affordable homes per annum translate to a success when his own target was 26,000 homes on an annual basis. Um, and by the way, just tell us, well, where do these numbers come from? Have we just made these up? or No, no, these they are... they some, come from some conservative right-wing think tank that's got it in for Sadiq Khan? Where have these numbers actually come from? Uh, believe it or not, these are actually Sadiq Khan's own numbers, GLL data, local government data. So they're from his website? They are indeed. Okay. So his own numbers would rather indicate that he's kind of failed, really. So... We might be confused, mightn't we, as to where the disparity is. Um, How does Sadiq Khan, on the one hand, say, I've been fantastically successful in delivering affordable homes for London, when his own numbers rather tell a different story? So let's delve into the syntax, shall we, Will? So Mm -hmm. completions versus starts. Now, here comes the obfuscation. Here comes the smoke and mirrors. Uh, Here comes the... Uh, the spin, I have to say, which obviously we're rather used to by our uh, politicians, aren't we? So um, Sadiq Khan talks about delivery of housing, particularly affordable housing, but he actually talks about the detail of that relating to a thing called starts. Mm-hmm. Should we try and talk about what starts are? Because you can't live in a start, I don't think. Can you live in no. something that's been started or can you only live in a house that's perhaps it been finished, be finished and yeah, completed? Yeah. Yes. Um, and, I mean, I don't know if you... No, differently, but I don't think there's any definition of a start. Well, I suspect it's one department in City Hall calling another or calling a council and saying, would you like to start that particular development? Perhaps. And that recipient saying, yes, OK, then. Uh, it would seem to me to be rather a spreadsheet exercise, because, as you say, we've looked long and hard and we can't find a definition of a start. So I suspect it's whatever Sadiq Khan decides it is. Um, so what do the start numbers look like during Sadiq Khan's reign, Will? Uh, since 2016-17, mm-hmm. uh, he's looking at a total of 106,575 starts. Right. So he has started a lot more than he's finished. 
very to coin a, phrase. a lot more yes yeah so uh, a whole bunch more so there's there's rather a difference in terms of what he starts and what he finishes um so it looks to me by the numbers that the difference between those properties that are started those numbers that therefore are designed to hit the headlines versus those that are actually completed there's about um well there's a, a huge difference about a a, a 35 percent difference in terms of this hole that some of these properties seem to have disappeared down. So we've got a couple of things going on here. So we've got the original target that Sadiq Khan set based on deliverables, based on completions, which he has not hit. We've then got what I would call the obfuscation, the uh, spinning of the numbers to turn completions into an accolade based on starts on a spreadsheet. But even those starts miss the mark. Then we've got the disparity between what's started and what's completed. So basically, I would say a failure on two levels. Um, and then just for fun, as a comparison, let's look at what the previous mayor, who happens to be Boris Johnson, did by comparison. So what did Boris Johnson, as the former London mayor, do in his eight-year tenure, albeit eight years, rather than Sadiq Khan's six and, and a half? Uh, well, in Boris's eight years, data starting from 2008 running to... 2016, he totaled 104,809 completions. Completions, right. Completions. So Boris is... delivered 13,100 homes per year. Correct. And Sadiq Khan has delivered 9,235 completions per year. So Correct. there's uh, a difference of 42%. So in other words, Boris Johnson, and I say this without any allegiance to Boris Johnson, I've been a big critic of Boris Johnson as a politician, actually, as a prime minister, a so-called prime minister. Uh, but the fact remains that when you push the spin and the obfuscation and the smoke and mirrors aside, Boris Johnson delivered 42% more affordable homes than Sadiq Khan. Yet Sadiq Khan this week, and I'm sure in future weeks, is sitting there telling us how wonderfully he's done for London. Um, well, before we go, let's talk about renting. Sadiq Khan yeah. also said in 2016 that he would solve London's renting crisis. Um, what's happened since? Well, he admits himself that it is far from solved. Uh, and in fact, the very process of not building enough homes mm -hmm. means that, uh, according to figures from JLL, these are, that rental listings have dropped by 35% uh, in London uh, in 2022 compared with 2019. Mm. Uh, as a result, of course, supply and demand means that uh, rent has increased by 21% in just three years. So that doesn't seem like a solution to me, really. So, you know, what the mayor said was he was going to stand up for renters. He said that that's what he would do. Um, and it seems as though he hasn't done that. So the the market would rather tell a different story in terms of a reduction in the supply of rental stock. And no surprise, consequently, an increase in rent. It's kind of fail, 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 I think, no matter what Sadiq Khan is spinning and telling people in the press and on social media this week. So that's it for this episode. Will, thank you very much for joining me. Thank this you, has Russell. been This has been Money Talk. Uh, and um, look, please, in the meantime, before the next episode, uh, please subscribe, please like, and please comment and tell me, do you trust Sadiq Khan on housing? A spokesperson for the Mayor of London said, since 2016, the Mayor has hit every one of the targets agreed with the government including starting more than 25,600 affordable homes in 2022 to 2023. By far the most started in London since records began in 2002. Despite these record-breaking figures, the mayor recognises there is more to do to fix the housing crisis. The mayor is calling on ministers to back a new funding programme exclusively for council homes so the whole country can benefit from a new renaissance in council home building.